Welcome everybody to a two-story penthouse in Sunny Isles Beach, Florida. You are on the beach, Sunny Isles Beach, and you're looking out to these unobstructed ocean views with over 20 foot high ceilings right here and a loft style unit, right? So this is a spectacular residence with just over 6,100 square feet of living space, six bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, all for $8,650,000. Now, this unit is actually up for auction by Platinum Luxury Auctions. We'll give you the details of that at the end of the video. But for now, let's go and tour you around this one-of-a-kind residence, rather, one-of-a-kind penthouse. Let's go. Welcome everybody to the penthouse. Let me close these doors over here so they don't slam shut. All right, right through over here, that was a private elevator foyer. All right, so you come up the elevator and you have this private foyer entry where you can put down your keys, right? And then you have the double doors that lead to this space here. Now, when I first walked into this unit, I was actually like, wow because there's a ton of natural light coming in. You see from up top, you have the double height ceiling, so 20 plus foot ceilings. You're looking over to the top where there's light coming from the top and you're seeing the furniture, so you know there's a living space up there. And then you're looking down this corridor, straight shot, perfectly symmetrical with ocean views, endless ocean views, because I can't even see where that view ends. It goes on forever and ever and ever. I guess not forever and ever, but that's a way to enter. That's a grand entrance to me. Your guests, when they walk in, they're just like immediately in awe of your space, right? Now we're gonna flow you through the unit. We're gonna show you around, but we're gonna make it sure that it flows nicely. First things first, over here you have your powder bathroom, all right? You have a really nice floating vanity. You have the floating European toilet as well, and you also have uh, a nice textured wallpaper that kind of looks like rocks, it has that beach vibe, right? Now we come over here and I, this is again your foyer, right? Where we had mentioned the double height and ceilings. I would put a really nice light fixture right above. That'd be super nice. But you're noticing the uh, glass railing here as well. It's a floating staircase. It looks very modern and sleek, which is nice. Below it, you have the rocks down there with LED lighting, making it, reminding you of that beachy vibe. But what reminds you even more is this wallpaper that's around the entire foyer, the circular foyer here, right? If you notice and you go close up to it, you can kind of see that it really does look like sand. And it's perfect because you're looking at ocean and then you're sand, right? So that kind of gives you the feel of vacation. Vacation. Now, as we mentioned in the beginning, there's six bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms. We just saw the half bath over there. Now over here, down this hallway, you have two ensuite bedrooms. Each one of the bedrooms has its own bathroom and each bedroom has a water view and a really nice city view as well. And if you look out from the bedrooms, you'll see that downtown Miami city skyline. So at, during the day, really nice water and city views. During the night, beautiful city views, right? So now we'll walk down over here. This is a really a highlight of the unit. You have this corridor where you can put up your art, right? And, and when you put up your art, you just lead straight out to this grand like space. The space is just speaks for itself. Over 20 foot ceilings, drop down ceilings above with the cove lighting, all right? Then you notice around, you not only have these floor to ceiling windows here that give you the ocean right in front of you, it also shows the sky, the clear sky. But what's also nice is that from up above on each side, you have a, a, a balcony, a terrace space on the second floor. And those terrace spaces, you see them from here. But what's nice about that is that you have more light coming in from the sides. So you're getting sky views from around. And then you look down here and you're seeing ocean. So all around you, it just feels like beach vibes. Tranquil vibes, especially on a day like this. So this is the living room, right? This is where you're more than likely socialized. You'll spend a lot of your time socializing here. You could put up a TV if you wanted to in the space. You could rearrange it in ways that would work for you. You could put TV on that wall. You could rearrange it. But how they have it here is this is more of the social area. People are gonna spend their time here conversing, talking, getting to know each other, and enjoying the view, because that doesn't get any better than that, 
right? Now, off of this living room, you have uh, a balcony over here and you also have another balcony here. So two balconies off of the living space, all right? Now, over here, also part of this living space is where you have your formal dining room. It's a big table here. I really like where they put the mirrors. You notice them throughout because they reflect the ocean. They put it strategically so Basically, you're looking out to ocean no matter where you look, which is super important. When you're on the beach, you wanna see the water. You wanna see the boats passing by and the jet skis, right? So they did a nice built out here, right? This is your dining. Fits eight to 10 people, this dining table, so it's a big space. Now, obviously, when you are by a dining, dining room, you're by a kitchen, right? That would only make sense. You walk down over here and you have your kitchen area. It's a big kitchen. This is a big space. But I wanna note the highlight of it is the view. First off, you have access to the balcony, but also you're looking out to the city view here. I mean, this is beautiful. They're gonna build the St. Regis right over here next to us right there, right? It's not gonna be super duper close, but it's gonna be two lots away from here, right? So you'll get a building there, but I mean, that's all of Sunny Isles. You always have a building right next to you. What's great is you're looking out that way, right? You're looking out west, so you get that western view, you get the downtown Miami view, and you get the ocean view. You get 180 degrees of views, right? So this is the kitchen area, your breakfast nook here. This is where you have breakfast in the morning with your family. And you ask your kids, what are they doing today? What is everyone doing? But when you live here, what everyone's doing is going to the beach. What are we doing today? It's a beach day. That's what it is. Now right here, you also have a prep area, which is nice. So you could, if you have food ready, you can kind of place it here and it's not too far off from the dining table as well. Uh, and then over here is the actual kitchen. You have a Viking cooktop. Mila appliances, Sub-Zero refrigerator, a, a wine cooler here as well. It's coarse countertops and they kind of have that beige kind of sandy beachy vibe as well to the kitchen. But I think the highlight of this kitchen here is definitely the views because that is just the best part. I think of everything really. The views is it, super important. Now I do want to notice as well, you'll notice there's lighting built into the walls uh, that's basically for beautiful uh, cove lighting at night that lights very, very nicely. You can leave all the lights off and just leave those on and it gives it a really nice setting. So now, we, before we go upstairs, we're gonna show you the primary suite that's right off of this corridor here, all right? You have a hallway here that leads you to your primary suite here. Now this primary suite is so sweet, like candy. <laughs> Terrible pun, nobody definitely laughed at that, but now you're probably laughing at how bad it was. So this is your primary suite. It's a big room, right? You have space for the king size bed. I would rearrange this in a way that you could put the TV there, but also another little seating area here, or even seating area facing that wall too. You can get creative, but it's a big room. You wake up in the morning, you're here, and you just look out to the ocean. Like that to me is nothing better than that. You got a cup, cup of coffee, a cup of coffee, go out to the balcony over here, Enjoy those views. The wind, the, view, the breeze is so, so nice. That water looks so great. Like summer days, I don't know why. I, like people from Miami, when you're from Miami, summer is when you go to the ocean. I love summer and the ocean. Summer plus ocean equals awesomeness. Over down this way, you have two walk-in closets. This closet's bigger than that one. This one's a really big closet here. And then down this way, you have your bathroom. All right. Now, if you notice, everything is white, very clean, elegant, modern, bright, airy. You add certain elements, rugs and things around, you can add some warmth to it. Double vanity here, private toilet room there, shower. But we got to look at this tub. George, we got we to gotta show them what it's like to sit in this tub. Because, I mean, look, are you going to use a tub? Yeah, you are. When you have this view, Right, because I'm looking here, right? We have the building next door, we have Armani Casa, but that's not a big deal to me because I'm looking here, I'm sitting, and I'm watching the ocean waves. That's what I'm looking at. That's what's important to me, all right? That's kind of just like on the side, not even a big deal. I would also put a TV up there so we could watch the Heat games or the Panthers games. Because <sighs> we love to watch our teams lose. I'm actually a Nuggets fan now. I'm not a Heat fan. I'm kidding. Not funny. Double vanity again, shower. I do like to point out that the shower has, you're in the shower, you're enjoying your shower, but you don't, the building is not looking into here. Nobody's looking into the shower. You're looking straight out to ocean views from the shower as well, which is nice. Ocean all around. 
ocean all around. Now we're going to walk. This is, we finished seeing the primary suite. Now we're going to take you to the staircase. I like to show you guys and walk you through it so you have a feel of the actual layout versus cutting and going to different places, right? So now we're back to the foyer entry over here, all right? And uh, we'll take you upstairs and show you the rest of the bedrooms plus the massive living space that's up there. Let's go. So now we are upstairs, right? This upstairs is pretty neat because this, if you have kids, this could literally be the kids zone, all right? You have really big living spaces here, right? So here you have this space here to sit down, play some dominoes, play some cards, why not, right? But here again, we're overlooking that lofty feel, overlooking the living room and those ocean views. And from here, you just see all ocean. You don't even see sky from up here. You just see all ocean. You're like looking down. It feels like you're on a cruise ship. It's incredible. All right. But this space, we'll talk about basically this space here and then we'll go to the bedrooms. So over here, you have a seating area. You have another seating area over here off of these two, this area here, you have two balconies, right? You have one balcony over there that you're seeing and you have another balcony over on that end. And those balconies are pretty big and they have ocean views as well, right? Now down this hallway over here, we have two bedrooms. All right, one of them is an ensuite bedroom, has its own bathroom and a large walk-in closet. And this one over here has its own bathroom, but it's just a hallway bathroom because this hallway bathroom would serve for any guest who's in the living space as well. It only makes sense. And all of these bedrooms, like we mentioned, have ocean views and city views. It's spectacular. We come out back to the living space, right? It's a really big space when you're looking at it, especially from this angle that we look at it over here. All right, this area over here, you have seating area there, lounging areas, hangout areas, but this is more like your family room here. TV up on this wall, you put it there, you put a big couch with a rug, get it nice and cozy, and the kids can have their fun up here and watch TV and hang out, right? And you have a nice drop down ceiling design there, surround sound speakers here, blackout curtains as well, but you're looking out to the water view and you have access to the large balcony space over here as well. So it's, it's really nice spaces up here. Now over here, you have an oversized bedroom. Look at all these, like, I guess this is perfect for if you have grandkids or a lot of kids. One, two, three, four, five. Five little beds. I love that. Bunk beds and look at this one. Look at this, Jordan. Look at this, come here, come here, come here. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God, wait, hold on. Check this. I don't know. Yeah, there's a light. White, off. No, I think I pressed off. Oh, well there is a light. There's a there's like lights in here. But look at, look at this, isn't this awesome? As a kid, I'd be so happy with that. I wish the lights worked. That's so cool. Does it have it in here? Oh, these have it in here too. Oh, it looks like they're off. Anyways, you have little houses. Little houses in a house. What? So this is a, obviously an oversized room where you could have five little twin bed houses. And then here's, huh? These are cars. Oh, they're cars? No, that's a train. No, that's a house. Those are cars. Oh, they are. It's a blue little car. It's like an SUV. Oh, I see it now. That's cool. So you have two SUVs and then you have a house. See, every house comes with two SUVs. Come on now. Big area here, TV. It's a big room. And this room obviously has its own bathroom down over here. All right. And the closet space too. But this is a cool bedroom. I think that's super neat. Uh, so we're coming back out to the living space here. Right. I do want to mention what's pretty cool. Um, what, what, uh, the, the uh, Platinum Luxury Auctions, what they had mentioned to me is that you can have a rooftop terrace here. You just have to put the staircase on the exterior, but that's something that you'd have to look into further detail on your own. But that's, I think, a pretty neat feature. If you could do that, that would be awesome. And that's the end of the tour. Thank you so, so much for watching. $8,650,000 two-story penthouse in Sunny Isles Beach, Florida. 
This is my favorite room of the house and I'm sure it's yours, but I'd love to hear what you thought down below in the comments. And if you're interested in this property or any property in South Florida, shoot me an email, YouTube at JonathanVegaGroup.com. And thank you so much to Platinum Luxury Auctions for allowing us to tour this property. They're hosting a live auction right here, right here in this property on June 20. Third, and there's no reserve. If you want more details on that, you can shoot me an email or check the links down below. Also, thank you to Daniel Alatensi with Prime International Associates for allowing us to tour his listing. That's the end of the tour. We'll see you in the next video. Every single weekend, we are putting out the best real estate content just for you, for you, for you. So go down, like, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next.